Hi guys, Maribel here from Levitan45. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing good. I'm doing great today. Um, I'm in my studio today and I said I was going to take the whole day to be here. You know, this is this is my happy place and um, I haven't been in here um, regularly. I've been here for the past, what, August? From August to, to now. I haven't been in here more than one day at a time or, or or one day and then I'm like about two or three weeks without being in here so I decided to take this day um, to make a video for you guys because my last video was um, a giveaway I had because I've been purging things I've been I moved again <laughs> could you believe that yeah I moved again and um, and you know when you move and you do those cleanups you start taking things out that you've never used well I did some of those and um, I might be doing a giveaway or I might just be sending out some happy mail I'm not sure but anyways what I wanted to show you guys I've been watching um, for the these last couple of days I've been watching a lot of 2015 flip journal journal flips and uh, that got me really thinking um i don't have a finished journal that i can flip for 2016 is could you believe that i've been doing so many things in 2016 but i have not been able to finish them and it's kind of depressing you know to start something and notice that everything you start during that year you weren't able to finish it and um it was kind of sad but then again you know it is what it is so nothing I just wanted to show you guys um, the only journal that I have finished and I think I already saw I showed it is my journal by five by fives it's the only art journal that I started and it's actually completed although none of my pages you can say are totally completed because I still have to go back and, and doodle some more and do I know there's some pages that still have something that need, let me just while you I talk you guys see it this way that have some things that I want to add for example these two you know I would love to add a couple of more because I feel it's not finished neither of these you know but this is the only actual journal that I have finished and while I talk, I will flip through it um, so that you guys can see, whoever has not seen it, my new, my new subscribers can see it. Um, it's actually the only journal, and it wasn't started as the Journaling by Fives. This journal, I had started it, I don't remember when, because I tend to not put the the dates of my of when I do my pages. That is something I need to work with. And I remember this was this was like about two years ago I started this journal. Yeah, because I think this was a, a, um, a series of videos that were, for, I think, I think it was Sarah Whitmore. I think, I'm not 100% sure. I will check and I will leave the link down below. And all these pages are from that. And then here I started um, actually, I started, I think it was here was when I started with the first journaling by fives that are on this page. The pages you see on this side is the second time I did the journaling by fives, but these pages are still unfinished. So I, you know, and I, I do tend to work until I feel like my you know like this is it for now oh, this is coming out and then you know i say okay i i can't can't think of anything else to do with this page i'll just move on to the next but this was generally by fives it was done and what i the only part i did not well i finished the 15 minutes of was the free play the the the, the fifth part but i know i need some pages need a little bit more than others, you know, but, you know, I can say it's almost basically finished. For me, for now, it's finished. Just 
you know, I've got that in common with Shannon Green. You know, it's finished when I look at it and I say, okay, I don't want to add anything else. That's when this journal will be finished. But for now, it's basically finished. I know I, there are pages that I need to do things to it. I love this page. For some reason, I love this page. I don't know if it's the flowers, but I love the page. And I didn't know what I was doing with this. That's what I liked about this process. And you know what? I have to go back to journaling by fives. I kind of like lost that somewhere in 2016 after doing this journal. Because I find myself again struggling with my journal of the I Am, my I Am journal journey with Cindy Utter. I've found myself struggling to make pages. So that means that I have to go back to journaling by five. So this is actually the only finished finished journal I have and um, that really really got me thinking because I've got a ton of journals started and never finished this was actually my very first journal and it was on September 2012 and today this journal is not finished yet I still have all these pages I've used it to wipe out and clean off my stencils but I still have all these pages that I need to do but you know what I've decided that I am going to finish it in 2000 the last time I worked with this was in July 23rd 2014 was when I made this page could you believe that more than a year ago you know and it's still not finished but I've got some backgrounds here, which I will work with that. And I've decided that I will finish this in 2016. So I do have a couple of journals that I have started and actually never finished. This is another journal that I started with the um, Journaling by Fives. This was the third one I was going to start. And I did start it. I wasn't doing it the same way with the time frame, the 15 minutes, I was doing it with the process, with the five steps, but I was doing each page individually because I decided that I was, after doing journaling by fives, I learned so much with that. And I, one of the most important things that I learned was to letting go and to not think what I was gonna do and to accept whatever the outcome was and to love it. And if I did not absolutely love it, or I wasn't able to fall in love with it or start loving it, I would just go over it and do something new. So, but I did start this journal like that, and I, you know, I did do the painting and the collaging, but the last steps, I, I never finished them. But it's almost, it's, I love the backgrounds. It's a background journal. And I can say, for me, this journal is finished for now. When I decide to come back to it, I will come back to it, you know? But I love the pages. Every now and then I just add something new. I do something new to it. But I, I am, am loving it, you know? And for me, this is what it is for the moment, you know? I've got some awesome background pages here. So I also started this year, um, my I Am journal with Cindy Utter. This horrendous thing right here, this is the cover. What am I gonna do with this? I have no idea, but I have to make this work. So something I'll do with that. I put some, I think it was, um, how do you call that white thing that they use for the walls? Speckle and some cheesecloth and I sprayed some paint on it but uh, not too happy with it but anyways that's what it is this is a journal that I had started with journaling crazy island style and I never finished it and I decided to do my um, I am journal so this is part of my I am journal some of these pages I had already showed you guys but I didn't I had not finished it I haven't been able to finish it I think this, these are the last ones that I had not shown you. I hope, I, re I really hope I'm in frame. Yeah. Um, and 
this was when I did this one I did it on December 19 2015 so you can see I haven't done much I don't remember when I did this but I did this one before this but it was I think in the month of November that I did this one and this was the last one I did on December 29 this was a picture or a face I had done on, on a scrap piece of paper and I really loved the way it came out and I just stuck it here and I I, I put some hair on her. You know what? I don't care. I like it. And this this one, and I did one here. This one I did the other day. When was this? Last week. I have to find out when it was that I did it. And I and the rest are just pages that I wipe my my brushes on and I put them here. Some spray paints that I tried. This was done with um, gelatos. And it's not finished. But I am determined to finish this in 2016. Cindy Otter already finished hers, and I'm still halfway in my journey. So that's another thing I'm going to do this year. Um, I did start the Permission to Play with um, Carol Dubé, 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 and I, I didn't finish that. I made a face here. I decided that I was going to take the courage and start doing faces right on my art journal pages because I'm still afraid of doing them that I might mess up the page but you know and I still haven't finished this I don't even have the videos anymore I'm gonna have to finish it on my own so but I do plan on finishing this in 2016 I started Cindy Utter's deck of cards and I think I did a couple of them and I didn't finish them yeah I did just one two three four five six seven almost eight completed these two are not completed I'm not sure if I'm going to continue the deck of cards maybe I will who knows maybe I not I'm not but this one actually does it not have any priority right now which I do want to finish it because it's something I started and I am determined to finish what I start but sometime during this year I might continue doing this um and basically that is it that is what I have for 2016 could you guys believe that since 2012 this is not good but anyways what am I gonna do in 2016 well, I am determined to finish most of what I started. I did do in 2016 this junk journal. I prepared this junk journal for me and I didn't do anything else with it. I just prepared it. I wanted it to do it with, you know, just putting, and I never finished it. So um, I might, I'm going to use this this year for something. I did, I, what are the projects I'm going to use, do for this year? I'm going to limit the things I'm going to do this year because I'm, I, I, I tend to do too many things and then I don't finish them. So I, what I plan to do is I am going to do, finish my I Am journal and I'm going to start Shannon Green's In Mass journal. I did order... Uh, the project that project I did order the catalogs from Oklahoma hopefully I will receive them if I do not receive them by the end of this month I'm planning to use this journal for that okay I've started collecting things but I do have some questions I'm not sure Shannon I hope Shannon sees this video <laughs> and um, I do have some questions with this list for example um, I know that I can do this any way I want, but um, when you say zippers and fasteners, are they actually zippers, actual zippers, or a picture of zippers, or photos of zippers, or ephemera of zippers and fasteners? Hmm, that's my question. Um, and um, like that, a couple of other things that I saw here that it was like, oh, that is going to be very bulky. For example, buttons that's gonna be washers hardware washers and gears hmm not sure about that one although my husband does have a lot of those things but anyways I just wanted you know if anybody knows and can answer those questions for me
I would really appreciate it. But I am collecting things, um, waiting for my journals or my catalogs to get here. If I, do, I, I ordered like about six or seven of those. I really hope I receive them. Um, I will be using this. That is one of the projects I'm doing. I did start another project I'm doing for 2016. And I want to show you guys because I want to come back and make sure that I finish this. I need to make myself accountable for the things I'm going to finish. I started, I had done this journal. Uh, I, I don't remember when I did this journal. It's with Jenny Belly's um, Recycle Journals. And I had done this journal with scrapbook paper. And it's been in my room for like about three years. Yeah, two or three years. And I started because I really loved um, Caged Fish Scavenger Hunt Journal. Ah, I just loved that idea. I had seen it even before I saw Shannon Green's video. And then I said, awesome, this is great. So I started that, the scavenger hunt. And I did start collecting. And she's she has a video with five prompts which are trees stars I haven't found so many stars but I've got the stars here things with wings red love it and I think that uh, there's one that's the fish but I haven't found so many fishes so I, I need to start collecting more fishes I do have some things here that I have that I need to put on and it's a good way for me to get rid of so many stickers I have and so many um, images that I've been collecting for collage journal and I've never done a collage journal but this is one of the projects of 2016 with the end mass of, of um, Shannon Greens and I am going to do the mixed media morsels by um cat hand cat had done a video i had seen a video of cats some while ago where she does her index cards and she uses this awesome little book that she bought in wish and i saw this little book and i fell in love with it and i ordered one and i'm going to do that here so these there's so many pages that they're getting ruined but I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it on um, index cards or small pieces of um, some mixed media paper or watercolor paper. And then I'm going to stick them here because I want that to, this book to be that. Because I love the way she did her, her, her index card journal and I'm going to use this for that so this is the third project I'm going to be doing this year which again is the in mass from Shannon the mixed media morsels from cat hand and the scavenger hunt from caged fish those are going to be my primary 2016 projects I will continue my my I am journey and I need to start a journal for 2016 although I plan to finish the ones I have started that I have not started and and I was thinking I'm using I'm, I'm gonna be using this binder Gina Aaron's gave that tip in one of her most recent videos I bought this binder some quiet like about this was supposed to be my my binder for my planner for 2015 which I never used because I never found the inserts I wanted and the ones I wanted were always out of stock so I never used it so I decided to use this as the binder for a journal I will cut some watercolor papers for that and I will be using this as a journal but that would be a my personal journal I also have which I really want to use is this journal I have done, this scrap journal that I did with one of Christy Sobolowski's classes. And I did it. It's all made up from scraps. But I've never used this journal, and I want to use this journal. But it's really big. It's intimidating because it's big for me. And I, I don't know how I'm going to use it. Um, but I will use it somehow. I don't know. 
I don't know how I'm, what I'm going to do with it, but I want to use this journal. And um, that is basically what I want to do this year. Um, so I'm just putting it out there because I want to make myself accountable of what I'm going to do in 2015, 16, because I want to be able to show a completed flip journal flip throughs on 2017. And I think it's about time that I finish what I've started. So, um, I think that's about it for today. Go check out, if you haven't checked it out, go check out Janin's Janin's Shannon Green's I will put links down below you can go check oh another thing I want to do that was another one I really want to do for 2016 is a um magazine journal from it's from um Dee Dee Williamson I think it's her last name Shannon Green makes reference to her actually Shannon Green's project is inspired on Dee Dee's magazine journal and Cage Fish's um, scavenger hunt books. So you gotta go check that out. And I want to do that. I've got a ton of magazines. My daughter, before leaving, she subscribed herself to some magazines, bride magazines. She's married and she's getting these bridal magazines. And I think I'm gonna use one of those for that magazine. Because I really want to do that. That magazine thing. Oh, Dee Dee's is beautiful. I love it. I love it. So those are going to be my basic projects for 2016 apart from my personal journals. So I think that's it. Hopefully I won't decide to do anything else because I think I've got my hands full with those four projects and my journal. So... Um, I think that's about it. Yeah. If I decide anything else, I will let you guys know. And um, nothing. I think that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I didn't bore you guys to death. Um, I will see you guys later with my... my um, I'm going to make a video of my techniques. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to start with this today. So... That's it for now, guys. I hope you guys liked. If you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe, comment below, like, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys later. Take care. God bless you, and have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye-bye.